Kinda nice that we actually s broke the this side up, but this one went terrible, terribly. Terrible planning there. End turn. Come on, yeah, run away. Nice, run away, you bastards. The right is a mess, so it doesn't really matter what happens there, does it? No, not the dragoons. They didn't lose that many though, given the fact that they were actually uh, charged in the rear. The right is now officially completely gone. Oakley Dokley, let's take a look at this. Get away with you, wild beggar. I'm hoping that this one will sort of stop charging, sort of when it gets into the forest. It's a small chance of victory there. I'm not sure if I should charge because this is disrupted and if this falls it opens up a lot but if we manage to push this one through and this unit has lost a lot more men I think oh actually that's quite kinda even in in the numbers they've lost hit this one with cannon fire sort of desperately need to get rid of all these idiots now and if I charge I stop everyone from shooting but then they could just pile on so But that's what we're going to do. End turn. Damn it. Disrupted. Dispersed. The enemy has a 15% uh, advantage over us at the moment. Ooh, that was nasty. And it's probably, uh, it doesn't look as though we're gonna win this one. Which is not very good, is it? It moves uphill onto a defense. Well, I guess since we're charging. Maybe there's uh, maybe 
upstairs are now the chance for them. I'm hoping this one won't follow. I can turn this one into charging in this in the flank there. Ah, damn it, out to brakes. This is not very good. 46% of our forces have lost their will to fight. Soon it will be all over for us. What to do with you then? Turn to face the enemy. Fine. Single guy. Uh, we probably yeah. We don't really see how I can win this now. They have an 18% advantage. There's some possibilities, but... Mm. And then, winning on time, I have to survive another six turns. Which is a little too uh, heavy. I'm surprised they haven't thrown in more men against this unit. That unit's not going to live long. End turn. Breaks. 59% of our force. Yeah. We lost. Bloody rally bastards. Are they rallies as well? I was hoping that this one this one was disrupted and if if since I'm hitting that one since I'm hitting this one so hard, if I could get this one to break, I could get both to run away, but yeah, it's it's over now. It's all over now. Really putting everything on us right now. No, not my cannons. That should have pushed it over. Yeah, 62%. It's all ogre for the king's army. I wish I could have moved these fortifications myself put them where I wanted it was a defeat we took with us quite a lot of them though but in the end damn it why can't I parliamentarian third army 
which has two of oh, 300 points it's two really small armies fighting right now and yeah it has no points outer resolve chance of victory 53% including six from previous record I'll play myself so the remainder of the army that fought in the last battle has come to this place to fight another small enemy force um, where will I set up my troops where will we fight I guess this place is as good as any and hoping that as they come through the forest maybe we can hit them. I want to switch these two units out though because I want this one to quickly move up here and hopefully I can see through the forest and see what's going on on the other side. Let's start this. Okay they move first see something up here, two units. See some clubmen, we got um, some horse. Maybe I should take them on through the forest. I'm not sure what to do really. I want to see more of what the enemy has. The thing is we probably get quite disrupted of moving around in the forest. Ah, there we go. Here's their army. We want to move a bit more to the side so we hold the hill. And then two cavalry units on this flank two cavalry units on this flank. I wonder if I can actually win this one. Not sure. And turn. Men are in the forest. Seems to be quite good coverage. Firing from inside the forest, I said, as the dragoons took quite a pounding. This one's holding really well against these two. For now. You know, I've said it before that the there's a l probably a likelihood that the parliamentarian force, their sort of pike formation, since they have a lot more pikes, is a lot better at uh, 
would sort of have a lot better better stats uh, for melee than the parliamentarian force that have a lot more uh, a lot more muskets. So maybe I should be more aggressive and move my forces off the hill and into the forest. Cavalry on the right is a bit exposed, yeah. Damn it. So I should probably move them. I think it's time to retreat the dragoons, and I changed my plan. We're not actually gonna go off the hill, we're gonna redraw our troops instead towards the hill. They've moved most of the cavalry over there, which should leave the enemy on this side quite open and vulnerable to attacks. So maybe we can win the left side. Let's see what the parliamentarians are up to. Moving around the forest. up on the hill, turn around, bang bang bang, shooting anything you see. And enter. Probably need to close in on those. Because right now they're going. Oh, it's too many goons turned up. Nice. Rallied. Let's hit hard on the, uh, oh, that's the clubman. Away with you, wild beggar! How will this go? Both the enemies have turned their backs on that unit. We can hit them in the rear. We have a clubman fighting in the forest. Hopefully I have enough points there to turn them around. It's dark and scary. No, I need it over here. We're not going to fire because they'll probably fire back and maybe even break my unit, so no. Charging downhill. Sixty percent chance of victory. 
good. Enter. Damn it. Just... Well, I, I guess they've... Uh, these are the survivors of the last battle, so... You can imagine that they're not in the best of the states. Nice. My pike formation can now charge in the rear of this one. And then the cavalry can come up and uh, follow the attack. Royalist turn. Let's see. 77% chance, but then it falls to 4% chance of victory. Hitting this unit pretty darn hard. There's a 68% chance of victory here. There's a 0% chance of victory, and then it's 50 to draw, 50 to lose, with a chance to victory next round. So it increases as we as we uh, continue to fight. Um, and unit, nope, and turn. Needs to get that flat or. Uh, uh, rear charge on that green unit. It's not going as well as I thought. I thought, oh, it'll, it'll change now. When I won the last battle, but... I guess my, I should have um, moved my troops together and sort of bided my time until uh, we were able to get the um, the advantage that we needed. Ready for that charge now. It's two percent chance of victory, seventeen percent chance of victory. I'll move really bloody close. I don't want them to go and charge this one in the back. Uh I think that was it for the yeah. died though. I guess they're just running about like crazy in the forest. Getting nothing done. I Yeah. Another loss. Join in the fray. No one died. Well, that was the only thing I could do. Well, we 
managed to break that one. One reserve unit. just get this over and done with. Maybe I should have just out the result. This doesn't seem to be going very well. The out result said there was a 50-50 chance. There's no point in moving you. Sno slow and agonizing wait until I lose. Is there a... Can I... Yeah, retreat from battle I can. Retreat from battle I can. Which is probably better than to slowly see this fall apart. There's no way I will be able to turn this around, I don't think. I have too few men. Not the right placement. Yeah, let's retreat from battle. End turn. Yes. Yes, Scotland has fallen. Nice. Northwest has fallen to the enemy. Well, this army is basically spent, so we need to combine these two. Combine it into one 900 point army. We have 500 up here. We can see about moving them up and crushing them. But I think, looking at the time now, I'm going to go ahead and have to end it right here. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.